you know, sometimes I, I doubt myself. Who doesn't? Even the, the people at the top who are extremely successful in their line of work have their doubts, have their insecurities, even though they're wildly successful. This is just being human. Especially when you start something new. Think about starting a new job and how you go in and you're, you're green. You don't know anything. You're a newbie. You need somebody looking over your shoulder and training you. And it's like you're a, a little child with a parent. And you're not expected to know everything the first day or the first week or the first month. Expectations are low because we all know that with starting anything, it takes a lot of trial and error. It takes screwing up and falling on your face. But you have to realize that, that that's how you move forward with anything. You have to learn through error. This is why it's okay to be easy on yourself at first and to not have really high expectations at first. I've been messing around with making YouTube videos for a couple years and there's been times where I created a bunch of content and I was really into it at the time. But then over time I didn't so much like what I was doing and I just cleared the slate. I decided this isn't for me. I'm going to delete these videos. And that's what I did. But none of that was in vain because I needed to try something. I needed to jump in and try some of my ideas and see what I could do. And even though I got rid of that content, I still learned things. I still learned things along the way on how to make videos, how to do some editing, how to speak to the camera. And so none of, none of it was wasted. It's like oftentimes people have to create many businesses that fail before they have one that succeeds. This is just how life goes. And the older you get, the more you realize that just through doing whatever it is that you're doing, continuing doing that will lead you to get better, to master it. But you have to fall, you have to fail, and you have to understand, you have to go into that thing that you're doing and understand that the only way forward is to make mistakes and to fail. You know, so many people give up because they mess up and they fall on their face and they think, oh no, something's really wrong with me here. I'm just gonna bail out. But it's like, no, the same people that are successful did exactly the same thing as you and fell down and failed, but they got back up because they realized that that's part of success. And anybody who has gotten successful will tell you how many times they failed, but they'll also tell you how many times they got back up and didn't give up. You have to realize, say when it comes to, for instance, a YouTube channel, and you start to look out into the YouTube landscape and you look at all the successful people in their channels and how, how great they are, how good they look, how, how well edited these videos are and the content is just, it blows your mind. And then you look at your own content and you're, you're nowhere close to being at that stage. But that's okay. It doesn't mean you should give up. If you often look at those 
successful channels and go back to their first videos, you'll see something often along the lines of what you're doing now. And it's low budget and it's just somebody starting and it's not so great. But there's still something there that they're offering. And it's worth something. But you don't get to being successful creating amazing videos overnight. It's like a job. You're not going to be amazing at that job the first day or the first week or the first month maybe. It's going to take time and you've got to understand that and humble yourself and realize okay this is how it's going to be for a while but as long as i'm progressing as long as i'm learning things as long as i'm getting better at my craft